Hi, my name is Burl Gorey and I am the Field Computing Integration and Support Team Leader for Water Mission Area. In this video, I will cover the installation and use of the SWAMI configuration scripts. The SWAMI configuration scripts retrieve information from NWIS and will need to be used with the PDA or the PC version of SWAMI. You can get the scripts by clicking the link found on the SWAMI website. You can download the SWAMI config scripts by clicking the link to the zip file and choosing Save As from the dialog box. In the Save As window, click on your Inwis server folder. Next, in the left pane, right click and choose New and then Folder. Let's name the new folder SWAMI underscore config. Now select the folder by double clicking and then click the Save button. Now that we have the zip file, let's log into our Endless server and change our working directory to swami underscore config by issuing the command cd space swami underscore config. Next extract the zip file by running the unzip command. Now you should be able to execute the list command and see the scripts. You will do that by using the command ls space hyphen l so that you can see the permissions of the files. You will need to change the permissions in order to execute the scripts. To do this you need to enter chmod space 775 space asterisk and press enter. You should list the files again and make sure they are executable. As you can see they now have the x added to the permission string. Now you are ready to run the scripts to get your endless data. I will demonstrate each script with the typical options. For a list of all options of each script, see the website. You should run the get station script to produce a station list. In this example, I will be using the SIMS option to retrieve the list from the SIMS server. You will need to determine your district code and if you want to just retrieve sites for a single office, your office code. To do this, you can open up Internet Explorer, go to the SIMS website, and choose your office from the drop-down list. In this example, you will notice the district code and office ID for Ruston, Louisiana is 22 and 362. Now return to the Unix window and enter get station space SIMS space your district number space and your office number. The script only takes a second or two to run. Now you have a file of stations named stations.txt that was retrieved from SIMS. This will be used for your station list in SWAMI. Next, you will use the station list you just created to retrieve your sensors from in with site visit and your ratings from ADAPS. To retrieve your sensors, you need to enter get sensors space hyphen L space stations.txt. When the script runs, it will create a directory named site defaults and create an XML file containing all endless site visit sensors for each station in the stations.txt file. This script can take several seconds to run depending on how many stations are in your file. The script displays a message for any station that doesn't have sensors in site visit. Next you will run the get rat QMs script. In this example, I have the script retrieve up to five measurements for the last 180 days. Enter get rat QMs space 180. The maximum of five measurements is hard coded in the script. If a rating doesn't exist for a station in the stations.txt file, you will get a message to that extent. The script only takes a few seconds to run. The last script you will run is get meters. In this example, I will use the hyphen O option to specify that I only want meters assigned to a particular office retrieved. I will enter get meters hyphen O Rustin. In this case, nine meters were retrieved. Now that you have created your configuration files, the next step is to copy them to the PDA or PC and place them in the same folder as a SWAMI executable. Further guidance on installation and use of SWAMI can be found in the accompanying videos. If you have any questions regarding this process, please contact the SWAMI help group at the email address shown or visit the FASIS webpage at the address shown. 